The Department of Veterans Affairs has made a monumental announcement, a new policy that marks a significant milestone for the heroes of a bygone era. As of November 10, 2023, every single World War II veteran is now eligible for VA health care at no cost. This sweeping change comes forward as a gesture of gratitude for those who served during a critical period spanning from December 7, 1941 to December 31, 1946. This inclusive approach means that length of service and financial status are no longer barriers. World War II veterans won't face the burden of any inpatient or outpatient copays, enrollment fees, or the often hefty monthly premiums. It's an unequivocal move to lift the weight of health care costs from their shoulders. The VA isn't just passively waiting for veterans to knock on its door. A proactive outreach campaign is underway, with the VA making contact through both phone and mail, urging those who haven't yet stepped into the fold of VA care to do so promptly. The message is clear. It's time to get the coverage you deserve. And for those worrying about giving up their trusted private providers or Medicare benefits, rest assured those options remain open alongside VA care, complementing rather than replacing existing health care arrangements. Dr. Sharif Elnahal, the VA Undersecretary for Health, has echoed the essence of this operation, emphasizing the importance of serving the needs of the heroes who are the embodiment of the greatest generation. They who answered the noble call to service when the nation and the world needed champions. With a sense of pride in the quality of the VA system, Dr. Elnahal is encouraging all World War II veterans to enter the VA healthcare program, a service that has consistently surpassed non-VA health ratings in quality and satisfaction. There's an additional nudge for those who previously found the doors of VA healthcare closed due to income restrictions. The new eligibility expansion renders past income limits obsolete. However, it's crucial to note that the VA doesn't have the authority to automatically enroll individuals. Instead, World War II veterans must initiate the process and apply themselves to take advantage of this benefit. Of course, even with the elimination of major costs, there remain a few instances such as medication or urgent care where modest co-payments might persist, dependent on eligibility and service connection aspects. Yet, these are trifling when placed against the wider context of benefits being offered. The foundation for this extensive policy change is the Joseph Maxwell Cleland and Robert Joseph Dole Memorial Veterans Benefits and Healthcare Improvement Act of 2022, affectionately known as the Cleland Dole Act, a piece of legislation that serves as a testament to the enduring commitment of a country towards its wartime defenders. Applying is a straightforward process. Veterans can visit the VA's healthcare enrollment website, dial up 1 800 MyVA411, or make a visit to their nearest VA medical center or clinic. It's a process made to be as simple as possible, ensuring that every hero of World War II gets the care they've earned. A slight correction needs to be addressed to the original announcement. While nursing home care stands as free for nearly all World War II veterans under certain conditions, such as the necessity of care for a service-connected disability or those with a disability rating at or above 70%, the new law doesn't automatically grant nursing home care eligibility to all World War II veterans. Despite this oversight, the essential message remains the same. World War II veterans, your country honors your service with this expanded access to VA health care, and we wholly encourage you to enroll today. Lastly, an apology has been issued by the VA for any confusion caused by the earlier miscommunication. The pledge to extend care does not waver, and the VA's mission to serve our veterans continues, one enrollment at a time, ensuring that every World War II veteran receives the benefits they so rightly deserve.